Hey, Lydia here. I'm the work reinvention coach and solopreneur strategist at Screw the Cubicle. And today I want to hop in here to talk a little bit about the three top mindset shifts that you need to be making right now to start thinking like an entrepreneur so that you can stop being stuck at wondering if you have what it takes to become your own boss and instead know that you have everything you need right now to take your leap. So what is this difference between an employee mindset versus an entrepreneurship mindset? Really, it's just related to having a bit of a stuck mindset versus a growth mindset. Now, in corporate or the sort of traditional trajectory of a career, we're taught to stick to something for 50 years or so until you can retire, right? And be sort of following suit in terms of your bosses, whoever's been in front of you that you want to overtake in a promotion in due time uh, to sort of prove your worth in the marketplace and get rewarded for things like promotions and advancement in your career. Now, sure, that works in the corporate fields and in that traditional way of working. But as an entrepreneur, one of the biggest things to embrace is really being in that creative driver's seat of planning and designing your own career versus sticking to the rules of what others or traditional education or traditional roadmaps have taught you when it comes to where you want to take your skill sets and what you want to do with the work that you have. So having an entrepreneurship mindset is really being creative in how you can offer your gifts, all the experience from everything you've ever experienced in your personal life and in your professional life, and also gaining back that autonomy to create work that you truly love rather than just um, doing work in how you've done it before, right? In this sort of scope of work or job description that you're used to. So this is a benefit to you to have an entrepreneurship mindset because it puts you in the driving seat of dictating how you want to work, who you want to work for, and why you do the work that you want to do so that work can feel meaningful for you. And most importantly, it can be purposeful and profitable for you to be having your own business and doing things in your own terms. So my course, Idea to Income, which is a six-week program that gives you the guidance and the steps to really move you through all these very common fears and mindset shifts so that I can arm you with the confidence that you need to become your own boss. It is not just Let's do a mantra to be confident. What I'm actually really going to do is give you self-evidence that you actually have a lot to give and how you can creatively offer your gifts into a business idea, into a way of planning how you're going to profit and monetize your skills. That is the real proof in the pudding to telling yourself you are ready to become a business owner, right? And don't feel bad about having these fears because everybody who's ever taken the leap made the shift to entrepreneurship. All of us have these fears, but we want to not allow these fears to keep us stuck, right? When we have a big dream that we want to accomplish, right? Whatever it might be for you, it might be more lifestyle freedom. It might be the fact that you want to have more flexibility in how you work in the years. Um, and most importantly, likely you want to be proud of the work you're putting out there and you want to be in that creative control seat, right? Of determining what it is that you want. So what's mindset shift number one that I see most common that I know once we get this piece out, of you know the stuck point of your 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 mind, which has happened to a lot of my clients, it started to really move the needle to the progress and the milestones that you need to be meeting in order to have a business. And a lot of this is internal mindset shifts, right? So the first mindset is you don't need to throw out your years of experience or you know throw the baby out of the bathwater, so to speak, right? Like a lot of people believe that they sort of have to start from scratch if they have had some traumatic experiences in the corporate field, or there's certain things that have sort of left a bad taste in their mouth about their career, about their industry, about their niche, right? That they have belonged in uh, for many years in their career. But one of the biggest things that my students really learn from working with me is that there's actually some interesting combination 
of skills that you already have in your tool belt, right? That is going to allow you to do work differently. And that is a huge piece of what we do in the idea to income program is to help you really repurpose your existing skills towards a more meaningful direction. And so sometimes it's not about, I don't want to do the skill anymore, but it's how you've been doing it, how you've been approaching that work, who you work for, right? And the projects you assign for yourself, right? That you feel purposeful to work on. And when we change almost these other parts of how you deliver your work, why it's for, what's the true purpose and the outcome and the ripple effect of, you know, your gifts to others, this can really breathe new life into your existing skills. And you don't have to start from scratch, which is amazing. And you can start a business quickly and start a business simply with what you know how to do. And that's going to be huge in a mindset shift because most of us do have skills to offer right now. That by the way, is gonna evolve in the future, but you don't need to worry too much about the future right now. What we wanna think about is what's right for right now that you can give, you can profit from and monetize in terms of your skills to start being a business owner today. Mindset shift number two is that you don't need to do the work the same way you've done it before. So some people always you know, say to me that I've been a doctor or I've been a lawyer, I've been a nurse for you know, 20 years. Um, I can't imagine doing work the same way because I've fallen out of love with my career. I've fallen out of love with the politics, the bureaucracy, the things that I sort of was forced to do that tainted right the reason why I got into this industry in the first place. And the truth of it is that when you become an entrepreneur and having that expansive creative entrepreneurship brain, you can design your own ideal job to be working in a scope of work, right? Boundaries of particular um, things that you want to solve problems on that isn't your entire 20 year career, for example. There might be a lot of things that actually you wanna bring forth from your old career and leave some behind because you are a much more evolved person, right? Knowing what you know today, but what you like doing and what you don't like doing, right? So in the corporate fields, in a traditional career, it's very normal for jobs to, you know, when you go into a job to wear many different hats, which overwhelm us, burns us out, and sort of doesn't help us to feel fulfilled in our roles that we play. Now, the difference between that and being your own boss is that you get to decide what those boundaries are for your scope of work, right? You get to choose where you start, where you stop, what stage of people you want to work with, what sort of outcomes you really want to deal with. That isn't the whole, you know, the whole nine yards for what you maybe would have had to do when you were working a corporate job, right? Or a traditional career. And so this gives you autonomy to choose your piece, right? To choose which area of specialty you want to deploy your skills so that you can build meaningful meaningful work in a way that's going to make you proud of the work that you're giving away and also help you to make more money because people are going to start to recognize that that is your, your area of specialty and why they will be coming to you for that. Mindset shift number three is that you don't need to worry about whether or not there are other people out there that do what you do. That's always one of the biggest questions I get is, Lydia, am I allowed to do this thing when it seems like there's 10,000 other people I've seen out there doing the same thing? And the truth is that that if you, first of all, having competition is not a bad thing. It's actually a good news. It tells you that there is demand in the marketplace or people seeking, actively seeking out to get help with this problem. And there are other people in the marketplace providing that help. And that's actually a good news, right? For you to know that there's a demand in the marketplace. Now, how are you going to stop yourself from comparing to other businesses is to discover what your unique proposition is. And everyone has a unique proposition. And so one of the things that I dig into with you and help you to realize and embrace and know how to share this is really understand what is your combination, right, of your unique experience, your unique perspective, and your unique approach in how you might solve problems for clients too, even if you play in a marketplace of other people that do what you do. So you don't have to be scared of the competition when you bring in your unique proposition that we're going to help you to discover in the Idea to Income course. So these three mindset shifts are super important in taking you know, taking a different approach in how you look at your existing skills, how you look at doing work differently, 
and how to help yourself stand out even if there's other people that do what you do. And when you can take these shifts into your plan for running a business, launching a business, you're going to feel so much more motivated and inspired to do things on your terms. And that is my hope for you when you join me in the Idea to Income course. So if you want to learn more about the next upcoming intake, that's going to be six weeks where you spend some intimate coaching time with me. You're going to get a step-by-step -step roadmap of how to go from idea, fuzzy idea, to an income-based idea that you can start your business around. You want to check out um, the link that's going to be in this video or go to screwthecubicle.com forward slash idea dash to dash income in order to learn more and apply for the program. Hope to see you there.